Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you how to use the new perform action with translator rules. I set my controller input and output in the preset to allow LED feedback to my controller. I already set up a perform translator and put messages in the rules so that we can see when it's being triggered. I use two parameters. The first parameter, PP, is the LED number, and the second parameter, QQ, is either 1 for turning the LED on or 0 for turning it off. The outgoing action is a note message, which causes the controller to set the button LEDs on. That's one great thing about Perform. We can abstract out what is received and what is being sent. Now I create a translator to trigger the Perform action. I simply call it Trigger. I then capture the incoming note from my controller. I modify the message captured to indicate any velocity. In this case, the trigger will occur no matter how hard I press the key. I also record the velocity in the variable QQ. I'll use it later. Now I add a perform rule with LED number 0 and a value of 1 for on. When pressing the note, my controller LED comes on as shown here. I'll modify the rule to turn the LED off, then I add a rule to turn the adjacent LED on. You can see it in action here. Now I modify the rules to make a loop that turns on a whole row of LEDs. Be careful when making loops that they get properly terminated so that you do not have an infinite loop. Now when pressing my key, a whole row of LEDs turn on. Again, I modify the rules. This time I will use the velocity of the key press to determine whether to turn on or turn off the LED. At first, I'm pressing the key very hard. The velocity of 127 will turn on the LED because it is higher than our defined threshold of 112. Then, as I press the key very softly, now the note on velocity is only 1, which is way below the threshold, so the LED will turn off. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, reach out to us at forum.bohm.com.